Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm currently a, a year four student studying at AES High. I'm from the batch of 2020 for Swift Accelerator program. So before going into the app, let's talk about what inspired me to create it. Uh, one day, I was teaching someone graph theory, which is a very visual topic, but I only had pen and paper to do it. So I found it really hard to uh, express my thoughts uh, on the topic. So at that point, I thought, what if I made an app with an interactive canvas so the person I was teaching can experiment around and drag the notes and visualize it. So let's go into the app. So as you can see, there's a tutorial on the side that she just controls and it allows you to go into the next step after you complete a task. So here you can see that I form, uh, I drag a connection, which is uh, something like a friendship between two people. So you can also modify the notes by uh, long clicking and deleting it, or you can drag it around freely. So let's go into the first searching algorithm, which is known as that first search. So let me create an example graph for you to see what DFF, DFS is. So you can start DFS on any node, and as you can see, the simulation goes down each path before it goes into the next path. And also, I'm, uh, I also taught BFS, which is Bradford, Bradford Search. So it goes, it traverses all the nodes in one layer before going to the next layer. So you can see that there is a difference. You can also uh, see that you can do multiple simulations and you can have multiple separate graphs. And you can also change the simulation speed. So what I used to create this is uh, I created the circles from scratch and uh, wrote all the simulation code myself without using any frameworks because uh, the frame, there were no frameworks for this. So uh, I tried it out on my friends and they think that uh, it's a rather simple app that can express the concept of uh, graph theory and searches quite clearly.